lots of duct work being made. Getting ready to do all those runs. Clean up here today. Those are our doors into our back area, so we're gonna have to store. See how big that is back there. You can see quite large. Hundred feet long by even these are three and a half feet wide. Three, or three feet wide, however long. But yeah, a lot of space anyway. With the ducting running through. Do some storage. If you're working on John's bench for the shower. Give me one second. Pretty cool. Yeah. Shows you just how big that shower is, even with that big old stool there. You still got so much room. Nice warm up there. Mm -hmm. up here. See the doors going into the back thing now? They're built? Uh uh. To your right? This where they're cranked in? Yeah. Kind of gives you an idea of how big it is back there. Yeah. So we just left the building. We've been behind this truck for about a mile now. See all this stuff on the road that looks like snow? That's not snow. It's coming out of this truck. I think sawdust. that it is sawdust. And uh, our detail guys are at the shop right now, so I'm just driving behind here so that you guys can see this. Our detail guys will clean this up when we get back to the shop. Wouldn't have been some shit if they'd already cleaned this one. Oh, no shit. <laughs> we look, drove back. So look at this shit. So they've got a net on the back, which isn't really doing anything. They got some mesh and they got tarped over the top, but it's all blowing right out the back. So went by the building and uh, things are underway, man. They've got doors cut in more places and the uh, air guys they got three dudes down there building steel runs and that's all going in the uh, shower guys building the shower up which I think we got a little video of he's got mm -hmm. the bench built they've got the uh, radiant floor the floor heat system is ordered we wanted to put that that Schuller system I think is what they call it mm -hmm. and uh, in the actual tub. I wanted to put it on the bench and the company recommends not using it any place there's going to be water, like inside of a shower. So it'll be, it'll stay warm enough up there. I guess the you know we can run the water for a minute before we get in if it, if it's actually an issue. Um, we still got to get the tile, the actual tile ordered up. Pit, or they're waiting on me to go pick it out. I got to go and actually look at some shit and decide actually which one we're going to use. But they've got the shower framed in. They've got the bench in there. They've got all the doors in and. Uh, they're drilling through two by fours, drill, just drilling through studs for wiring, more wiring, more outlets, more receptacles right now. And um, that's what's going on. Um, we're just on the way to the gym. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm not like I'm up and I'm moving, but I feel like I have, I, I do feel that I have not slept enough this week. It'll make a good sleep on the plane ride. I won't sleep. I'll do emails. That'll be a oh, good yeah. four, four hours of emails. Hardcore I can get emailing. Done. Um, I don't feel bad. I just it's been a long week. Should have slept longer. Lance and I left at two last night. Um, I got up at six thirty this morning, calling our guy. I'm going to go do some upper body and uh, go back and ship and start packing stuff up for the show. And um, we're just kind of taking it easy today. And we'll come in Saturday and Sunday too, and then uh, we fly out like Sunday night, Monday morning. Like we leave town at like 3 a.m. to go to the airport. What time's the plane, plane take off? Boarding is at 7, so yeah, kind of gives you, you know, how long it takes, you know, to get the car and what, get to the terminal and all that shit. So. Once we hit the ground in Vegas, though, we'll be good. Yep, it won't matter after that. Plus, we'll have a full day Monday to do whatever. When shots show up? Th Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it is Tuesday. Four days long. I talked to Kane this morning. He's working uh, Emerson Booth. Kane will be there. Lot, man, fucking everybody's gonna be there. It'll be, it'll be fun. It will be. 
There'll be some cool booths, I bet. Oh, there will be. See there. some neat displays, a bunch of new guns. Yeah, people so. put a lot of money into that. A lot of companies say that the money they put into it, they don't get the return on. Like, at that point, it's just expensive money for tax purposes and, you know, shit like that. You could go in and, and not spend a half a million dollars on the show and still pull in more business than you can handle. And that's, that's kind of where we're at. Like, we don't... We could go do SHOT Show and have a booth. We don't have a booth at SHOT Show, you guys know that. Yeah. We could go do a booth, but we don't need to. Dude, we get so much publicity just from being there, though. Yeah. Going and seeing people. I like it, you know, it's... it's you know, it's me and Heather were talking about it, and I said, well, I said, well, if, you, if we go over to uh, see James, I was like, we'll have to text him and be like, hey, well, Heather Yeager and Tactical Pablo can come to your wherever you're at if you want. We won't charge much per hour for you to have us at your booth <laughs> or whatever booth you're standing at. I was like, That's we'll, we we'll sign autographs and stuff if you want us to. That way. So James has all these, like, meet James Yeager things set up, and uh, he's going to be at the booth. We'll find out when those are. And we will just be there at all the same time. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just do that. We'll sign autographs while James is signing autographs. Go through his line. Be like, here, you come with us. <laughs> you want our autograph? You front ten people, come with us. <clears throat> talk. What do you want to talk about? Um, I'm, I'm pretty much only thinking about the show at this point. You better amuse me. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm excited to meet all the whatever fans we're going to meet you know we met a bunch when we were at the nra show which i thought was cool all but those coming but, up and but those aren't those aren't just like those aren't fans those are you know customers clients yeah yeah like people that like they know us even though we don't know them but um and of course like i i kind of like vegas like a lot so do you yeah every time we go to vegas like I, you know i'd only been once before for the uh, mr olympia to watch that with mallory but then going again and getting to go again like every time I go to Vegas I'm like maybe I should just stay here we went twice or once y'all have been I've been before and then y'all been a few times and I've been once with y'all uh, but I used to spend a lot of time just outside of Vegas and Henderson I'd go out there for literally a month at a time what's there it was uh, big huge houses for half the money of California I had friends that had property there so you could you could drive around and do anything you wanted to do out in the desert, man. You could go as fast as you wanted, any kind of vehicles. Nobody gave you shit about nothing. It was just, it was close to Vegas, so we could get into Vegas anytime. But we just go out there and hang out with my buddy, James Rexroad. You and Lance said y'all haven't been to Vegas together in a long time, right? Because y'all used to go. We have not. That's, that's right. Yeah. Lance was supposed to come out for SHOT Show and didn't make SHOT Show. Or Lance was supposed to go to Vegas a few months ago when you and I went when we all went out yeah yeah and he had something going on couldn't come over he's back Lance is back we're gonna unleash y'all two on the on the city and see what kind of trouble y'all get into we what kind of trouble Lance get, will get you into we won't get in any trouble because like even when you guys go out drinking I won't go I don't plan on doing a lot of that because I have to wake up early every morning and go cardio and work out before we our day we do you got to get up early and still have time to go eat an appropriate meal like me and mallory were getting up at 6 a.m to do it at the last time so. it's it's funny because all those dudes like the first day shot show opens there'll be a line a mile long to get in there yeah and we'll be sitting in a restaurant eating for two hours and then we'll go in when there's no line yeah there's you don't win anything for being the first in you don't. There's not even like... <laughs> like there's no special prize. There's not even anything you can buy. And all the shit that'll be for sale, we will have bought what we wanted the night before anyways. <laughs> That's where all that, the cool shit, like all the custom knives and any of that shit, that shit all happens before. That, that shit never even sees the show floor. You think we'll get to see some haters? There will be, they'll be there. People they will catch them seeing it in the back yeah, of the room. Yeah, exactly. You'll hear somebody whispering, or somebody will come up and go, hey, that dude was talking shit. But they won't, they won't come up. So, so I should fill a cock with one of our sand socks so I can have it at the ready anytime I need to chunk it at somebody. You won't have to. <laughs> and I just think it'd be funny to do. Like throw a bunch of them, like the light ones, and then pick somebody out and throw a five pound cock at them. Dude, everybody has people that don't like them. Oh, yeah. But that internet shit is, that's a whole nother thing. And the dudes talking shit on the internet are not dudes that will come up and say anything to you. There are reputable people that are doing big things, I'm sure, that do not like me. And they won't like you because they don't like me. Mm -hmm. But 
the dudes you see on the internet, those are not the dudes that are at the show. They're not the dudes that fucking make any decisions. They're not the people that can influence your life in any way. And they're not anybody that you want to be doing business with anyways. Mm -hmm. Like those dudes, like AR-15 sits, there's fucking, well, you saw those threads. I mean, we got pages, we got threads on there that are 37 and 40 pages long. And they just, they're talking like, AR-15 was talking shit about some dude that didn't get his order from 10 years ago. We shipped that motherfucker's order. Like, we shipped it to him. We also cut him a check six months ago or whatever mm-hmm. just so AR-15 would shut the fuck up. They're mm-hmm. like, well, if he'd pay the guy, if he'd pay the guy, if he'd pay the guy. We sent his shit to him. Two different occasions we sent shit to him. We paid him just so it would take the wind out of AR-15 sales. And they're still going. Like, we, we did what they wanted done. We did it. We paid him. And I paid him just because... What was it, $1,100? Yeah, $650? Like that. Like, in all seriousness, how many times have we sat down to eat lunch where it costs $650? All the time. Like, when we go out, when we take the crew out to dinner, it's always over a grand. What's $650? So we paid the dude, and they're still fucking going on about that dude. They're talking about something from 10 years ago. So... But those guys, you won't see them at the show. They won't come up and say nothing to you. Some of them will be there. You will not see them. And it, when you do see a dude who's a shit talker and you know who he is, you'll make eye contact with him. And nine out of ten times when he sees you, he will literally blend into the crowd. You will not see him. You'll 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 see it happen. But they're very non-confrontational. And I think it's because people that do that, people like that, they were bullied as kids. And they never did stand up and never did fight. And they have that fear with them still. It's like when a kid gets hit for the first time. He's always scared of being hit. Once he's hit, that adrenaline flows, he knows that being hit is not as bad. And the second hit's usually not as bad as the first hit because you were, you're expecting the rest of them. So it's that kind of deal. And he's that he has some power when he's on the you know through the internet and the interwebs. And he gets he gets a pump off of it, but in real life he won't come up to you. Hmm. So like we've put out like we had invitations like hey we'll rent a fight gym and any of those dudes talking shit can show up and we can slug it out just like you know like fight club and never never one single time has anybody ever wanted to do that and i'm not i'm not a trained fighter or anything i mean yeah there's a good chance i'll go in there and get my ass kicked if you ever fight enough you can win a whole lot but there's always that one time you can watch UFC all day long. All those dudes are trained fighters, and they knock each other out all the time. That's true. It only takes that one that yeah. one slip or that one miscalculation. Yeah. You'll see a bunch of MMA fighters, like all the yeah, UFC guys and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I don't I don't know who they are, but you'll see, like we get introduced to them all the time. Like there'll be a fucking crowd of people around. I'm like, I wonder who that dude is, mm-hmm. and he'll be wanting to come up and talk to you. Like he'll. A lot of them dudes watch our videos and shit, and like they're very cool. They're very fucking cool dudes. I just don't follow UFC, so I don't really know who they are. All right, man, we're about to the gym here. Okay. So we're on the way back from the gym, and they just built this building in the last few months here, finished it up, and we drive past it all the time. We just wanted to see it up close and uh, take a look at it. This is kind of a look we're wanting to do on the building when we're done. The exterior of our building, we want it to look like this. So we just wanted to come over and see and we figured we'd just catch some film of it real fast. Um, they've got this newer um, steel siding that I like a lot. I like the colors. I like the gray with a light gray roof. I just, I like this. Like I would take and maybe throw some red into this somewhere. I like the rock work on the front, the stamped concrete out front with the stain on it and sealed, and then just the, the big rocks and shit. Um, we would go a lot bigger with our rocks because these guys have these rocks so ours would have to be 10 times as big <laughs> and their, uh, their LED sign out here we're going to get one of those in front of our building but ours is going to be a lot bigger than that too plus our gates will look like Jurassic Park to keep the T-Rex inside so we'll do it a lot bigger than this but I do like this appearance I like the way it looks a lot so we're just going to walk inside and see what they have we've never been in here it's a construction supply place you can probably leave that. Okay.